Dear Jennifer, have arrived in old Istanbul as directed. I have to say, it's an extremely pleasant change from the places the boss usually sends us. Are you sure he's feeling OK? Anyway, seeing as we're here, I might as well take a long, hot Turkish bath. I may be some time. My guide is man about town and Turkish well, bath aficionado yeah. Ali Karakas. Well, really, there's a lot of things to tell you about Turkish bath. But, if but first, we must evade the notorious shopkeepers of the bazaar. You want to buy a watch Rolex, genuine imitation Rolex, $10 Rolex. Take on camera all my garbage. Sit. Sit my garbage. We think he means luggage. Ali says all is not well with the bathhouses of Istanbul. In fact, they're rapidly disappearing. Victims of modern in-house bathrooms and changing taste. They're losing in a lot of Turkish bath. The small one and the historical one, some of them are getting close. Some of them are doing something trick. They're changing the shop or something, breaking down and building something different. But what's happening? The Turkish word for bathhouse is hamam. And this is one of the most famous in Istanbul, built in 1584 by the wife of Sultan Selim II. Well, here we are. Eh? Yeah, here we are. Now, sit. Who, who are these guys over here? They're, they're a pretty tough. What well, kind of messer? You know, they're doing. You have to be really careful. They can crack your bones. <laughs> Definitely. When you come to Turkish bath, man, you know, you have to give about three hours away. Yeah. You have to yeah. spend time here. A quick costume change, and it's time for the full three-hour experience. As much a history tour as a tonic for the body. It's easy to imagine the heavyweights of the Ottoman Empire lounging around here in centuries past. I feel, I feel like I'm on low heat on a frying pan. <laughs> yeah, but that's all right. Uh, it should be more hotter. These days, most of the patrons are tourists. The price is far too high for the locals, even if they do have the time to spare. Starting to sweat a bit. Just as I was beginning to mellow out, I met Ahmed, one of the old hands, so to speak. The origins of the Turkish bath lie in Islam's strict dictate of personal cleanliness, in an age when in-home plumbing simply didn't exist. <laughs> Tell me, how do you feel after death? <laughs> but not everyone was a hammam enthusiast. The sons of the 19th century British Empire, fresh from the cold showers of English boarding schools, declared that Turkish baths would lead to the effeminacy and degeneracy of the human race. But then they never got slapped around by Ahmed. Most of Istanbul's hammams have now vanished. Some bulldozed in the night, others encased in the concrete and glass of the modern world. Really warm inside. So what have, what, have they, what have they done here? There's a new generation of Turkish bear, you'll see. <laughs> Would you like so, go so, on? So they've turned it into a jean shop? Yeah, definitely. So how does it make you feel when you see something like this? Really shit. <laughs> really, you know. Let's have a look. Have a look. But few seem to share Ali's concern over this loss of Istanbul's heritage. Unbelievable. Across town, hidden away in a quiet street on the city's Asian shore, we find the owner of this once thriving community hammam battling the odds. 
Valla eskiden hamamlarda gelenekler vardı. Mesela oturur alem yaparlardı. Yemek yerlerdi, bilmem ne yerlerdi. E, sohbet ederlerdi. Fakat bunlar tam zamanında belediye kanunlarına, şeylerine göre kalktı. This 80-year-old man has been coming here every week for a lifetime. Today he's the last patron on the last day of business for a hammam that's been operating since 1635. It will close its doors tonight for a planned renovation. No one's sure when they will open again, but the owner is an eternal optimist. E ben de 70 yaşına geldim, yoruldum. Benim de bir dinlenme ihtiyacım vardı. Bırakıp başkasına devrederim. Yani hamamcılık ölmez, imkan yok. Çünkü memleketimizin bazı yörelerinde hamamcılığı çok severler. Hamamı çok severler. Bakmayın İstanbul'da böyle şu şey bunu. Compared to the splendor of the great mosques of Istanbul, it is perhaps difficult to get excited over a steam bath. After all, the tradition will live on in rural Turkey. And visitors like me can still get the boutique treatment in the tourist areas. But for the purists, hammams are as much a part of this ancient city as the nightly call to prayer. <laughs>